The overall goal of this procedure is to generate organoids and use them as a three-dimensional model for infection biology. A number of years ago, my lab discovered LGR5 as a marker for stem cells in a number of different adult organs in mice and men. Since we have learned to take single stem cells from these organs and culture them in the form of organoids, small versions of those organs, and with organoid technology, we've now shown that we can study cancer in great detail, but also infectious disease problems. The main advantage of this technique over modeling infection biology using cancer cell lines is that here the cells used are primary non-transformed epithelial cells and that a three-dimensional structure is preserved. Beginning with approximately one square centimeter of fresh gastric tissue in a dry 10 centimeter petri dish, use forceps to carefully remove the mucus and muscle layer. Wash the tissue in cold chelating buffer with gentle back and forth movements. Move the washed tissue to a new dry 10 centimeter dish. Cut the tissue into 25 to 50 small pieces, approximately 2 to 5 square millimeters in size, and use forceps to transfer them to a 50 milliliter tube. After wetting a 10 milliliter pipette in chelating buffer, add 10 milliliters of the buffer to the 50 milliliter tube and wash the pieces by vigorously pipetting up and down 10 times. Allow the pieces to settle and remove the supernatant.